It's an important time for bat conservation in Nova Scotia. Bats were affected by a fungus called white nose syndrome. It wiped out about 98% of our bats here, and it's been slowly working its way west since its introduction into New York State in around 2006 or 2007. This fungus affected bats all across the province, uh, with massive die-offs in Cape Breton, all the way down into southern Nova Scotia. Bats reproduce really slowly, with one pup every year, depending on the species. So with that, and with the amount of bats that we've lost, it's going to take some time to get populations back to where they were. There's hope though, as we're starting to see new populations in southern Nova Scotia that seem to be either immune or avoiding the fungus altogether. We are monitoring a few colonies across Nova Scotia, the largest being at a barn site that has over 350 bats in it. These bats are extremely beneficial for agriculture and forestry as they decimate insect pests. Bats can be found all over the province. Uh, old sheds, barns, churches, flying over streams, lakes, and over our forests. The more information we can collect from these bats, with people's sightings wherever they are, whether it's a maternity roost or just a single bat in your attic, the more complete the picture of recovery is for this province. As of 2017, we're starting to look into where these bats are going, we use acoustic monitors to determine what species are around or what species are present still. And we're also trying to determine whether bats are on the decline, stabilizing, or in a recovery since white nose syndrome hit the province. There's still a lot to learn about these bats, and hopefully over the next few years, using acoustic monitoring and visual surveys, we can start to get a glimpse of their recovery. If you see bats in your community, or if you see bats in a shed, or if you find a maternity roost, or if you see them flying, you can go to batconservation.ca and report your sightings. We're using that database to try to get an image of bats movement in Nova Scotia. And the more maternity roosts and hibernacula we can discover, uh, the more protections we can provide these bats and hopefully see them in our skies again in the next few years.